so at what point do you find out he has a wife and kids the first day, day that we met nona sapo ko introduce yourself akanambia mimi i'm so and so uh, i have a kid one kid and back then nilikuwa nikikuja nairobi hivi na hivi namnunulia ka perfume naambia jamaa ndio ndio ujifanye ni woman noa no aki that particular day before going now to to buy the car we went out with Kina John and other guys this guy came please to liqua your ex yes akatuvuruga hapo akatuvuruga kabisa Ak- he 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 shot at us he had a gun yes that is actually his second name wash wash yes his first name then he unajua flani oh ule flani wash wash at some point ni letoga a box of those makaratasi mimi mm. nikaangalia karatasi it looks like money but it's white but okay kwa hivi hivi kwa light kuna tu pesa yes nikamuuliza kuna box hapa hapa ni yako akaniambia yeye hii acha hapo your ex taking all these things from you your friends leaving you because now you can't afford the the lifestyle that you that you had or what wanaanza kuona kama wewe ni ugonjwa ah uh-uh, stay away from that one ah ah we are you class yet anymore ah uh-uh. you know you can't even tell your, your best friend sasa ni ni said here 20000 i've not paid my rent today uwezi a ah, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS rebuilding series my name is Lynn Gugi now i don't know if you've ever been in a situation where the people you think love you take everything from you i don't know if you've ever dealt with someone mwenye ni wash wash i also do not know whether you've ever found yourself in a situation where you know your man is married but you still continue to be in that situation i also do not know how you ever come from such situations naona hii LNS leo tuite LNS situation ship rebuilding series but my guest today is very strong because she says Lynn no matter what I've been through I refuse to let it weigh me down I'm going to rebuild my life she is also a very amazing business person and amekuja huku na sisi wote tuko perfume we are like oh my god who just entered our premises she'll be talking to us about her story and how she's rebuilding but before I do that guys you know have to pay a couple of bills here here at see bills nalipa because i know you are now all aware of kings developers limited i love that our brand is able to give visibility to other brands that is eco credible na nyinyi watu muwezi skamiwa so if you are looking into owning a home here in Kenya, investing in an apartment where amenities finishing credibility is top notch why don't you try my people at kings developers limited they have everything for everyone so if you are looking for an apochini kidogo or a medium range or upper uko you guys you can always find something that fits you and i always say hakuna pressure if you do not have it right now please ucg force just walk into their premises their offices at upper hill prism towers and talk to them about their flexible payment plans and always remember to give me feedback guys i say the intention of this platform i know we got to make money because i have a team to support but i would love to hear your feedback also if you've invested in kings developers limited or you are still considering investing with them you can also share your feedback with me via those emails right there and do not forget to say lin sent you when you go there we are approaching december and what can i say? 732k subscribers on our platform i appreciate you so if you are watching this and you've not subscribed please subscribe please so that our content can get recommended across youtube and you can also help us increase it matters algorithm and now without further ado please allow me to let my guest today introduce herself hey leo ni come like na ji feel feel like no no anyways hi good morning good morning Lynn. hi how are you how are you i'm okay how are you you good you good i'm great 
first things first mm -hmm. before we even get to the intro yes you look amazing thank you see the lean is leaning yes oh, yeah. <laughs> wow the lean mm -hmm. is leaning yes you see mm -hmm. I, I i love you look amazing thank you and i'm so happy that you even accepted to come mm -hmm. and inspire us with your story i'm so but shy you are so shy <laughs> by yeah. the time to pick up uh -huh. 15 minutes uh -huh. uh, to be sana. Yeah. but kabla nionge sana mm -hmm. please introduce yourself oh, and yes. tell us what you do okay my name is is Lynn Nchoy. Yes, I am a certified cosmetologist and an entrepreneur. Yes, I'm a business lady. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. How is business? Business is uh, tough. Yeah. The economy, you know, but tunapambana. Tax in at Pele. Aye, well, what's <laughs> <laughs> that's a no go mm -hmm. zone mm -hmm. yeah as i yeah. started by saying i'm so inspired yeah. by even you coming to share your story yeah. i i can't see yeah. Yeah. you why do you want to share your story let's start there um it has taken me a very long time first of all to just speak it out because it's in a feature you go through it but yeah. yeah but now that i think i have healed i think i have healed because um, at when you go through the things I've gone through at a young age, una unaona eh afadhali nimepitia nikiwa mdogo tena unaona eh okay no one should go through this. So I think I just want to create awareness that these things happen. Yes. And kama imesha happen it's okay just you know get up again. get up mm. and rebuild your, yeah, life. And rebuild your life. What are you rebuilding right now? Um a lot let's say um my life in general uh my business life uh my love life yes yeah all and, that just life in general life in general yeah and i love that you still believe in love oh yes i do oh <laughs> i do <laughs> yeah but let's go all the way back mm -hmm. take me back yes. to the moment your life started okay because this is the part where i feel like i need to sit back mm -hmm. and let you own your story yes the point where your life started mm -hmm. the challenges that you've been through mm -hmm. and how you came to this realization mm -hmm. damn i have to rebuild my life yeah yeah so my life started in 1995 yes <laughs> in february 1995 yeah. yes but okay um let's say from 1995 till 2000 i don't know what happened mm -hmm. i was five is it five yeah, yeah. so um I went to school like any other kid uh i remember we used to live in narok i was born in narok mm -hmm. district hospital yes. it was still district hospital by then so um I went to school like any other person. My parents were not together. I don't remember them being together, but Ever. they were both there. Mm. Um, I lived with my grandma for a while when I was in like kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Kindergarten then mm -hmm. is a primary, like yes. lower level primary, still in Narok. Uh, then in 205, my mom moved to Tanzania in Arusha mm -hmm. with my aunt who got married there and built her life there. She had a primary school there. So I moved to Arusha in 2005. So I've lived in Arusha with my mom and my auntie and her family. Mm -hmm. She she had a family of four four kids, a husband. It was a whole family. And for me, it was just me and my mom because I'm the only child. Yeah. So uh, I schooled in Arusha for, I've been there for how many years? For 10 years. Oh. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've done my primary there. I've done my high school there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then in in two of in twenty fourteen, my mom and my auntie moved from now where we were staying from Arusha to Da. Mm. I was done with my form four, which was in twenty twelve. Yeah. So I was just home in 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 TZ when you when you're done with form four, that's called Nectar the exam. Mm. It's national something Tanzania. Mm -hmm. You wait for a whole year for your results. No way. Yes. So I I did my form four exams in twenty twelve. Yeah. It's it's in October. Yes. Come at Uku. In October, then now you, you go for the holidays, which is November, December. Then now in twenty thirteen, the whole year Mtangoze uh, results are the October, November. Yeah. Yeah, which is just a year. Mm. So in twenty thirteen I was just home. Then twenty fourteen, January, my mom and aunt moved to Da because now it's it's bigger, it's better, they, they got jobs there. So I didn't want to go. I stayed back. I think I was eighteen at this time. Yes, mm. 2014, I was 18, so mm. I was I was okay staying on my own. 
So I started small, small business here, legal here, illegal there. Uh, that is in 2014, yeah. Then um, in 2015, my auntie passed on. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The my, one you were living with your mom? Yes. Mm -hmm. She was She was just this lady, Nona Chris, Chris Jenner, that, that kind. Okay. She was learned. She she had lots of money. So uh, her her passing was like, it impacted our lives. Kiasi mm. flani. Mm. So my mom and the kids, my aunt's kids, bado alikuwa uko. So they came like for the burial, amuizi zikana like kama Nairobi. Oh. So they came back to Arusha. We we have a place called Longido. Just before you you get to Arusha, mm. that's now the shago of of us, the okay. OTZ. So we buried her in Longido, and mm. everyone just had a kind of mm -hmm. because now she got a divorce from the from the husband. So the kids were kanza kapekeao. My mom went back to Da because I'll kwa nafanya kazi bado. And uh, I came to Nairobi in 2015. That was 2015, September. Mm. I came to Nairobi for fun too, na marafiki. Then I told them, I have family here in Narok. And I've not been in Narok for over, oh, over now 10 years. So I have to go say hi to my mom's friends. I have relatives of my dad. Um, let me just go say hi. Yeah. So my friends went back to Arusha and I went to Narok. Now that's Bado September 2015. Mm. I said hi to people, Nikakauko for a week. Then I was like, ah, let me just go say hi to my, my grandpa. My, my grandpa on my dad's side mm. was alive. My grandma, Bado, was alive. Still is alive. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so now. Yeah. Okay. So, Kwenda Kwa Salimia, they are like, do you know how long we've been waiting for you? To just come and say hi. We've not seen you ever since you were like a baby. I was like, okay, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm here now. Nobody told me. Yeah. You guys didn't even reach out. I'm here now. Yes. What's up? So my grandpa was like, um, I'm old and my kids are illiterate. Now my my dad's siblings. Mm. He he had two brothers and two sisters. But one of the sisters was married and one of the brothers is not mentally okay. Mm. So like two kids are okay, but they are so illiterate. I want to leave everything to you. I'm like, me? I don't even have an ID. What do you mean? It's like, yeah, your dad left land and I also have land and I want everything to be left to you. I was like, okay, this is a lot to take in. Can I think about it? Like, yeah, akuna mali nenda. All this time, we were just waiting for you to come back. Mm. I was like, okay. So at this time, I was staying with a friend of my mom's, Wakitambo Sana. Mm. We were living at her place. So I went back and, and told her, hey, my grandpa said this and this. She was like, yeah, I mean, everything is legally yours because now your, your dad didn't have any other kids. So what now? I was like, I don't know. I don't even have a Kenyan ID. Mm. She was like, F first thing, just get an ID, first of all, because you, nothing can happen in this Kenya without, without an, ID. an ID. Yeah, so get an ID. Then talk to your uncle and auntie, mm. now on your on my dad's side. I was like, okay, let's uh, have a meeting. Yes. yes, guys, I'm back, but I'm not here to stay. I'm not here to stay, I'm and I'm leaving. Mm. But your dad said this and that. Yes. It, uh, it can't happen. I'm the man here now, my uncle. I'm the man here. Everything should be left to me. I didn't know these things existed. And I'm so okay without having them. So let's just go talk to him. Mm -hmm. Legally, I have nothing to, yes. to do with it. But sasa, your dad wants me to handle it. So we called a meeting with the chief, the DC, Nawaze, Nini, Nini. So the Mze said, um, this kid, imekuwa ni kimgoja. Because I, when I see her, I see my son. Oh. Now, daddy. My dad, yeah. So I want her to handle everything of mine. And everything of her dad's is legally hers. So I was like, okay, okay, sawa. Nikambia to my uncles, ocha tufanyi vinyana sema. Since everything will be under my name, I'll know what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, everything was transferred. 
I, I got my ID. Mm. So everything was transferred. Nikai tasasa my uncles and my aunt. Nikawambia, as much as mze amin pia kila kitu, atuizi mwacha hivyo and he's still alive. So let's subdivide the land. Uh, me, na my uncle, my auntie, and now... Guka. Yes, because as I see, my grandpa and grandma are not together here. Mm-hmm. Lakini, since mtu is still alive, lazima tuwa taachua mahali. So we subdivided, nika, nika pair kila mtu equal share, and we moved on. My dad's land pair was um, <coughs> uh, transferred to me. But <laughs> my dad had married someone else, oh. Kitambo, who also passed away. The lady is no longer there. Yes. And the lady had a son, okay. who's, who's now my brother. But the kid also passed away. Oh. Yeah. So the family of the lady were holding on to the land, like Sasa, it's theirs. Mm-hmm. Then, Ikakwa uh, kesi, how is it yours? Like, if, if, if the lady was alive or the kid, it makes make sense. But Sasa, Baba, yeah, this lady is holding on to yes. the land, it doesn't make sense. Then they came and uh, said that the lady had other kids, mm. but not with my dad. But your, your dad married the, the chick, so I was like, it's fine, what do you want? He was like, we want to subdivide this equally to these other kids. Even after my dad passed on, the, this lady had another kid. Mm. They also want the kid to have... A share? Yes. Kambia mimi hizi vitu, nimejua juzi. Do what you want. I'm not here to fight about land or anything. Do what you want. What do you want? We want this to be subdivided equally. I was like, okay, let's do that then. That's what you want? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. We did that. So I, I had land from my dad's side yeah. and from my grandpa's side. Then um, my uncles, immediately they got the, my uncle and auntie, immediately they got the land, they sold it. Immediately, like, it was just, they were just waiting. Mm. So here they are, no land. Wanataka nini? Ile shia yangu. Sasa yao I was like, okay, now what do I do? I'm still um, just in shock with everything that's happening. Yeah. I'm still living with this uh, friend of my mom's, mm. who, who's also like just a mom to me. <coughs> um, and have you told your mom what's going on? Yes, okay. yes, yes. An- anajua, I talk to her every day, mm. every time. Mm. So anajua, ananembea, okay, sasa, so, so, what's next? Nambia, mom, I don't know. I don't know if I'll settle here. Or not. I'll come back. Yeah. Everything that's that's happening, the subdivision, nini nini, it's all now in 2016. Because I got yes. my ID in 2016. Everything was subdivided in 2016. And I, I now decided to settle there. Then I told my mom, um, since my uncles <coughs> my uncles wanna wanna fought Aisha and Babado, we can sell everything because at a to court no konayo. Then I, I come back to where our lives are in TZ now and we can do something get a house or something mm. just something mm. with the money mm. so it's like if, if that's what you want do it yeah do it because this is yours it has nothing to do with me you do it but just be wise so first of all I sold it in 2016 mm. uh, on my dad's land there's a graveyard now where my dad is buried and now the wife and the kid. Mm. There's a, a, a graveyard yeah. and there's a house which was there. Kwanzia to Mimi Nikiwa Mdogo. I think it was built. Isi nyumba za kitambo where it's, it's uh, mawe mm. and then it's mawe and then it's raised with uh, timber. Ilikuwa to like a home. I think we, we lived there sometime which I don't recall. I was a baby. Mm. Or one of my uncles ali bomwa. The land ikwe flat. Ikwe raisi kuza. So, um, but a was bomwa foundation. So I said, with this money that I've gotten, let me raise this house in Julikane. This land has someone now. There's, there's someone doing something mm-hmm. here. So I told mom, um, I will raise this house, Ni Jenge too, from now, since the foundation is there, Ni Jenge, and we can do something with it. Me says, you could mashambani na nimbali, I can't come and live here alone. It's yeah. not even that far, by the way, because yeah. Narok is a very small town. Yes. <coughs> okay, um, Kambiata at home, Unaza Kujakuka. So, vile nilimaliza the house, nimeinua kabisa, nimeaka roof, then the neighbor kakuja kusema the, the house is on his land. 
kimeshika kwake yes like the boundary here ipti where it's supposed to be boundary in a in a fuck with nyuma nyuma but the guy said in a pita mbele in between in between the graveyard and the house mm. so so sin kasama misha that project at this time i met this uh, guy back in april of 2016 yeah april may apo yes uh but n- nothing happened we just met uh so a month or two later we met again so that's where i started to, to exchange words mm. Nini, my name is so and so yeah 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 i've texted you on facebook like in your reply i was like oh god kenyan spado go facebook <laughs> I, i i don't go there <laughs> This is 2016. You will go up. This is to my own company to go Instagram to go Snapchat to go to Facebook. 2016 really new your particular person. See see see. Yeah. Yeah so I was like okay uh sawa ulikuwa unasemaje huko Facebook? Like no sasa salamu tu cuz we met. Umeandika nini? Kaniambia salamu tu niko nataka like to know you better you know. So I was like oh okay. So my name is Lynn. This is my number. Uh, where do you live? I'm where I live with Chen. So the lady that I was living with was was still known. Yes. A very known lady. Prominent? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So oh, you believe there. Can we go out? I was like maybe I can ask her because I'm still under her roof. Na it's a family. She has a husband and two kids. So I'll have to ask for permission. Can you please her? Here's my number. When you get permission let me know let me know so i got permission mm-hmm. we went out that day uh yes a story story we, we had drinks in the car i think uh, to end up can chill okay let's know each other nyembe i've never seen you around i was like yeah i'm from around but compared to kabaka around mm. kidogo i am here i just came to visit then this this and this happened oh that's nice so what's your plan i was like i have no plan I really don't know what to do. Everything is happening so fast. Yes. Can I be so this thing with with your grandpa it may it may go through and come be but I'm still waiting for my ID. And I didn't come on yesterday like kakara yeah. tasim to anapewa ga kingoja ID. Yeah. Can I be on ID? I'm like I just came here. And I don't have a Kenyan ID. Mm. It's like okay. So what next? Can be I, I don't know. Let me just wait because I I didn't know I had all these things. Maybe I was just going with the flow with life. Uh, and school in Kambia school has to pause for now because now I, I was in that time I, I need to go to uni because mm. nona ni maliza from 4 in 2012 yes. i have to go to uni now so uh yeah so we started dating kablata ni pate all these things that was in may may of 2016 yeah. so i think i i got everything june july mkiwa pamoja eh tukiwa pamoja So um I'm still living with the with the lady. So tunaona na tuile na jo it's need dating to your guy that eh tunaona na weekend ama during the day we go for dates we come to Nairobi for dates evo. So uh when I got everything nika nika pata na no na to how you live somewhere so you you'll meet people. So I met a guy who was a broker by then. I can be a look for a person when you take a kisha kupata ID because now me nimeenda through the system. Yes. Can be a ndio e story umaliza na haraka tende kwa office ya DC there's a guy that works there atakusaidia kupata ID haraka atakwara kisha the process. So yeah, u u jamaa kwa my friend. He's a broker also. Akanipeleka nikapata ID I think two days later. Yeah. Nikapata ID So now uh transfer was easy and to take a repin is of it. Then you have to go to like land control board and your you see so that you petition with the board. Mm. I can say idea to with everything. Mm. Okay. So um uh, this is September of 2016. Before September I think yes. it was August. Yeah. I got everything kabisa in mm. August the title skill like like it. So this guy the broker kanimbia mimi ni na usaga mashamba. Lakini angalie za kwanza hii yango nimeshapata I have the documents. Mm. Akanimbia I I want you to help me with this job since tunashindaga tu pamoja anyways. 
akapata a call one day come to total in, mm. in Narok kulikuwa na one total peke yake mm -hmm. come to, to total there is a client that wants this sasa niko naye kwa gari kaniambia tukimbia hapa kidogo we went there there was a client that wanted a huge piece of land akaingia kwa gari tukampeleka kuona that particular land and mm. the guy was like i want to pay this today so uh, wakaenda kwa wakili hiyo process yote tu then the guy uh, said anataka ku transfer pesa sasa you you transfer money to the person that's selling the land then kuna cut here this brokers mm. so the cut here brokers ikakuwa no one has a kcb a bank account cut here these guys and they wanted the money that day ako anataka ati ilale process nini from from a different mm. account to another account mm. they are like clean kwa sababu so umesha ingia biashara tufungue account sahi sahi i was like okay tukafungua account so the, there were two guys john and his friend so your man is john no 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 mm. your man is not there he's not there it's just a broker yeah, okay yeah. now we are three people mm. kwa hii biashara mm. so they were getting paid i think it was 1.8 million So sasa sin kafungua account. Mm. Tukaikio ile 1.8. Me I was just there. Sitijayo si, si, na pesa kama hiyo yes. in Kenyan money. They were like since uko kwa biashara we'll give you a cut. Tutagawana hii pesa by 3. I was like ah for real? Walai, alafu. Oh si hii si shamba yako umeuza. Mm -mm. Oh hii ni nyingine. Mm. Okay. So mimi niko hapo tu ninaongea na my mom so I'll come and biashara. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nakuru. <laughs> ukamenda <laughs> biashara na kuru so eh hey, uko wapi leo nini nini just normal conversation tu yenye mnaongeaga yeah. kawaida nikamwambia hata niko na kina John walikuwa na biashara wameiningisha wa i think nitapata pe pesa nitapata tu pesa hapa yeah. so kidogo mm -hmm. this John group mm -hmm. belongs to your husband no. ni my friends wa husband yako no. ni wale mabroko ulipata na yes. okay but since it's like a small town mm. What wana joana tu people wana joana ah, ule ule ni fulani anafanyaga hivyo okay. but they're not friends per oh, se okay yes also plus nilikuwa ni mm. mention mention because yeye ndo alinisaidia na id yeye akanisaidia na hizi so we, we became friends okay so akaniambia eh hey, na hii pesa yake na John ni how much nikamwambia ccg bado kwa sababu hawajanipatia but they have made me open an account at uh, kcb ndio deposit hiyo eh na ime kwa nikamwambia eh ime kwa si the account is mine i can see the money mm. so kina john wakaniambia uh 1.8 divided by 3 is 600 yes so ni, ni watole a certain amount ni wapati nikawapatia nikabaki na some money in my mm. account then was, they were like ipe same baki kwa account ujue ni yako na mimi i'm like sasa nitafanya 600k that's a lot of money okay ah nikamwambia mtu wangu hey by the ni upata pesa i think i'll i'll move out of, of of the lady's house but i'm not sure so john and this other guy huyo mwingine ni mzee mkamba mm. very short guy but very very old mm. pia aqua like age to even kuna hata mtu alikuwa age to hapo so they said sheria ya, ya sisi tukifanya biashara na iende through we have to go sit down have a meal and have a drink kusherekea like yes. the, the business yeah. Are you up for it? Nikamwambia eh sawa hata my my host place na car awa awako mm. they've gone to Mombasa with the family. So it's just me and the and the house girl mm. and the house boy uyo wa nje it's yes. just us in the house so I can go home ile sana nataka. I call my mans. Ah uh, amesema ni hivi na hivi what what time are you coming? He's like ata nataka kutoka saa hizi. Nikamwambia sawa we've, we've gone to a certain place place sasa ya kula nyama yeah. ni compare jina ya the place tuko hapa in case ukuje tutakuwa hapa okay sawa akani ulizoleza tu maswali about the business na hii pesa iko eh umeona pesa ama unakudanganya nikamwambia the money is in my account say ati iko kwa account ya mtu mwingine yeah. na nimewatolea hata yenye tunaenda kutumia tumetoa kwa hiyo account mm. it's like so it's 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 a done deal yes. it's a done deal tukaenda tukakaa the three of us sasa mimi John and the other guy yeah. Uh, we we ordered for drinks and food so unajua tu time inaenda it was almost uh, jioni jioni so please tunakula it was like a gazebo just a gazebo we were mm. just the three of us mm. tumek mimi nimekaa na, na john kwa kiti moja na 
see hata kitu moja ni hizi hizi yes. vitu za plastic but yeah. tumekaa close to each other yeah. and this other guy me the opposite side like tuko tatu sasa then my phone i, I used to have a, a very weird techno by then nika ikisha charge i call my guy and come here isi mean inisha charge but i can go charge it at the bar so in case unipige unikose just come to where we are tumeka yeah. kwa gazebo yes. na simu yangu inacha in a charge so nikapeleka simu ichajiwe then john akona bibi wife so the wife works in a salon mm. the wife akamaliza kazi akatujoin akakuja wewe later akatujoin akakalile kitu mimi nilikuwa nimeka mm. so mimi nikaenda the other side kukukana na huyo mzee mm. then when my my man came sisi juu kama ni tabia basi hiyo kabila yao but alikuja akachungulia where <laughs> where we were seated yeah. Mimi mimi niko niko kwa bana wa wandari kwani huyu mtu afiki. Yes. Kuchungulia akakuta aka John and the wife yeah. wanaangalia kitu kwa simu together wamejifunika na shuka ya kimasai it, it was getting cold. Mm. So the guy automatically knew that that is Lynn. So mimi kwa tatu. That is Lynn amejifunika yeah. shuka na huyu jamaa something happening. Akanipigia simu nikashika. Nikamwambia ah hata ni, niko huku kwa ba nina nina ngoja call yako umefika mm. akaniambia nimeona hiyo hiyo mambo unafanya na matusi mingi sana matusi mingi mingi hata zingine sijawahi sasa sikia mm. so um akaenda nikarudi kwa kwa gazebo nikamwambia fulani amekuja hapa is like sisi hatujamuona nikamwambia amechungulia basi mm. cuz anafikiria your wife is me. me na mimi tusi sana akaniambia kwa nini ebu acha nimpigie john sasa nikamwambia acha na naye so on his way on his way sasa ametoka ame cha highway akapigia my host now the the lady i'm staying with lin ako na tabia mbaya kabisa ameniambia amefanya biashara kwenda huko nimekuta they are all cozied up na na john i think mm-hmm. wanakwaga pamoja mm-hmm. any vote sasa mm-hmm. kunichomea pia mm-hmm. kabisa i don't know what the lady told him lakini mambo mbaya pia kambi hizo ndo ndo tabia zake mm. I, i think mimi hata nitaenda kumfukuza kwangu asinilete hizo tabia kwa mm. kwa bwana yangu mm. <laughs> hiyo sasa ni conversation yao yes. mimi sijui yeah. mimi hata oh, like i am I'm emotional sasa yana na nimekunywa whisky mingi sana nikaenda home nikalia house like sasa hizi nini aya nikamwambia tu huyo huyo house call mimi i'm not feeling well nitalala acha tuniende lale nikaenda nikalala The next morning hakuna sub biashara tunafanya niko na pesa kwa account but I'm not happy my my host is not there your man's my man's ameami nikasirikia so i i woke up kuna place we used to go for a walk mm. with with my host mm. mimi nikamka tu kama kawaida nikaenda for the morning walk nikasema leo nitaenda kuna hotel to somewhere near there i go swim ni shinde huko so sasa ile conversation my, my man's head with the lady of the house aka aka change mind akakuja kwa kwa the lady saka mm. nitafuta to be jam in block i think akani and block kunipigia si si shiki simu niko kwa pool simu iko kwa bag mm. akakuja akaambiwa eh lean left in the morning uh, alienda for a walk na uh, i think alienda swimming malifla malifla ni swendo mtafute huko mm. so he came it was at now around 11 12 in the morning hapo akaniambia sasa hebu toka kwa pool cause I, i was shocked to see him ninakupigia simu shika was like mimi niliacha mini block na unaona niko kwa maji mm. kaniambia ya vangu twende aniongeleshi bado nikaingia kwa gari we went to um to, to the house sasa cause uko ni vibe ngongo za workout tv mm. joggers nini akaniambia go take a shower and change na kungojea hapa mimi nikaenda nika change akaniambia na vai kitu warm I was like okay kaenda nika buy jeans jumper uh, sneakers karudi akaenda akani drop kuna mahali inaro kuna taxis ako kuna uber na nini kuna place taxis who park akaita some guy akaniambia ingia na ujama and ni mtafute nyumba I was like nyumba what do you mean wewe enda na yeye nimempe instructions mimi niko hapo kwa gari sasa now the, the cab sijui kunaenda aje mm-hmm. tukaenda tukazunguka places 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 kwa jamaa kaniambia kuna place kuna nyumba nzuri ameniambia unatafuta nyumba I was like yes but i didn't know tutafanya leo he didn't tell me about this 
So nikaenda tukapata a very nice house huko. Nikamwambia there is this house ni nini? Akaniambia let me come and see. Akakuja akaona. Uh, akakuja akaona akaniambia it's nice. Uko sawa na? I'm like yeah, sawa. Pay for it then. Nikalipa the house. Mm. Then aka akaita some guys Oshini nyumba uh mimi nimetoka nikaingia gari it was now around 6 in the evening 7 hapo mm. akaniambia we are going to Nairobi akamwambia kufanya nini kuna noise hivi tu za nyumba so i was like hey why the the emergency yeah jana ulikuwa hivi akamwambia by the way huyo jana haikuwa mimi na kama unanijua vizuri obviously because we are two different people the lady is a bit dark she's tiny akaniambia achana na hiyo maneno Aya, kaniambia uko comfortable niko comfortable. Aka akaeka recording ya that call ya jana yenye alipigia the lady mm. of the house mm. kwa kwa like radio. Mm. Hello hello yes. Tukasikia hiyo hiyo how the lady said bad, bad things about me. Yeah. Akaniambia okay as much as nilikuwa nimekashirikia but sitaki mambo kufanyike. Siko na pesa. Yes. Move. Nikamwambia okay. Came to Nairobi did sh- shopping for my house kumbuka mm. niko na ile pesa nikanua kila kitu by the way and i moved haya jamaa ako tu sawa na mimi ananisaidia hapa na pale but i still have that money yeah. so i don't need his pasi now fast forward to december nikamwambia mama ah naona kama i'll settle here so i don't need to to yes. sell land ndio ni nihami but i think il iland ya my grandpa kwa sababu ina ina photo sana na these guys i'll just have to sell it mm-hmm. let me sell it ni ni jenge kwa hii hi shamba yetu yeah. enye aina mtu mwingine kaniambia sawa so in 2016 bado nika nikauza land it was 3 acres mm-hmm. i think nikauza yote nikauza i had the money akaniambia acha nikuitie watu wenye watakusaidia with sasa fundi wako akuinua nyumba atakwambia ni pesa ngapi mm. unahitaji mchanga hivi mawe hivyo hizo vitu so i used the money kuinua hii nyumba but now my so called man akienda biashara zake ana text ile haraka haraka sasa uko wapi i'm in the house hebu nike 20k hapa nifanye hivi na hivi na hivi na uandike hizi pesa zenye unanipea I'm like okay niko na diary hadi leo i think nimeandika hapo nyuma tarehe fulani 20000 hivi 15000 50000 70000 80000 haya <coughs> tuko 2017 sasa mm. yeye yeah, na his friends want to go to dubai for a business <laughs> lakini hana nini ana pesa like budget yake ya dubai aitoshi <laughs> kaniambia fanya hivi nilipe ticket. Nende nikafanya hii biashara nitakuja na pe? Nitakuja na pesa sasa. Na uandike. Yeah, nimeandika. Pesa yangu simenila tu kwa account. Sasa hata sijafikiria biashara yote ama nini ama school bado ninajenga ile nyumba. Nikamlipia ticket ya kwenda Dubai. I think it was 100 gs or something. Mimi nilipa nimeamka asubuhi nimeenda KCB nime withdraw niko na hangover. He haya akaniambia <laughs> Akaniambia um I'm, I have to go to Nairobi. Yeah. Ndio nilale huko ndio twende. Sasa it's common sense. Yes. Aya wakaenda. Wakafanya biashara. The, the day that he came back, nikamwambia biashara imeendaje? Akaniletea by the way vitu mingi. I think the latest iPhone yeye siku, mm. perfumes, shoes. I was like, "Thank you, but my money Haya, si umeleta iPhone. Ai, sasa no. Sawa. Thank you. Lakini my money. Akaniambia ah, acha doi jatoka yote enye enye ilitoka niliona kwanza ni kununulia hizi na na ni tume home nini? Aku spoil. Eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kwanza nilikuwa victim wa ile I live with my wife because of the kids. <laughs> ah. Miss JSK yo maneno. Koni eh. koni Kenya nsoko aje. Hi kaambia okay kwanza it was because of the kid because peleka mbali mm. wait yeah. it we thank you haraka hivyo bring it back mm-hmm. now you guys you started dating yes. you already doing the whole nisaidie pesa nini mm. so at what point do you find out he has a wife and kids kwanza mm. 
kabla hata maneno ya pesa ifike mm. the first day, day that we met unaona sapo kwa introduce yourself akaniambia mimi am so and so uh, i have a kid one kid uh, and i live mahali flani like sasa tamit na naishi kilimani niko na mtoto mmoja nafanya hii kazi hivyo 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 i was like okay akaniambia but my baby mama atukai nae kwanza they wanna niambia tukai nae anaka with the family yao sasa hey. so um obviously yes after the date when i went back to to the to, to where i was staying yeah. nika nika pair this host story hey flani and flani nika maana nataka tukana na kailesho sipa kana mbaya yes but he's married i was like no he's not married the baby mama anaishi kwao walipata tu mtoto when they were in school ta kana mbaya hey ako na mtoto na si mmoja <laughs> Ako na watoto wangapi? Wawili. Wawili. With the same person and they live in now your place. Uh-huh. That is where they live. Kambia ah, oh, oh mtaki chaizo. He can't lie to me, come on. Why? So sa mimi sit je patana na character development ever because where I'm from people say the truth. Yes. Ini nini? So obviously he's not lying. Who them don't don't pin this story. Mm. I can be uko na wivu. Hey. Mm. Uko na wivu. Uko kwa nini uko na wivu? Yeah, Aishi he he's a single man. Okay. Yeah. With a kid. Yes, just a kid. Ai, wewe. Mm. Cha wivu. So uh later on hata ndio nilikuja kujua kwamba he has two kids. Hayo. <laughs> na I was okay. Sasa tutumeshaingia kwa relationship nitafanya nini? It's like ah you don't worry. Oh, worry about yourself. Mm. Worry about yourself. It's like okay, sawa. Wow, oh, aishi. Na mimi niishi. Hey, yeah. eh? So now you know Kabisa he has a I know Kabisa, kids. yes. See I, baby mama. I even know the wife sasa. I even know the kids. Hey, lakini love. Kuna kitu taniambia. Aya, tumeendelea tu. So ikakoa ivo like ana anapata pesa ananiambia nimefanyia hivi na hivi yeah. but do, don't worry as long as you've written everything down i'll give you your money back ikakoa tu ni nitumie um 50 20 30 ivo then came a scandal ile ya, ya Chase Bank that inafungwa akaniambia niko na loan ya, ya Chase Bank ya G70 nipe ndio tukope ingine ndio ikifungwa eh nisdai wewe ilo ni sijua hata nilikuwa wapi ukatuma eh sasa sasa unaingia kwa kwa KCB mbio mbio star 522 KCB ni star 522 na limit ni yo 70 so unatuma yote mbio mbio and you you can send it twice aya so uh yo 2018 si pesa inapungua because sasa hakuna kazi nyingine pesa inafanya inatoka tu inatoka tu inatoka tu inatoka tu Uh, nikaanza kuona tu funny behaviors which i think he had before lakini mimi mm. sikuwa naona. Mm. Aya. Alikoaga na, na kitu moja akinunua a, a phone since i have that ka, gadget knowledge anakuja na nirushebu ni setie simu. So all the time akinipea a, a, new, a new phone na mbaya eka fingerprint na just had like utafungua na zamani kwa, kwa iPhone sikio na kale ka home button yeah. una fingerprint kwa hapo. Mm. So ni nampea na set fingerprint mimi naenda kwa add fingerprint na mimi naeka yangu hii so i can open his phone <laughs> na add fingerprint hapo <laughs> so i can open his phone vizuri sana yes haya what akienda tu hivi naangalia transactions mm. nini nini mm. bank alafu ni ni this people that put password moja for everything so ni ninajua his his birth year ndio password ya mpesa ndio password ya, ya bank ndio password zamani kulikuwa gani iki to that you hide photos in yes. kwa nini that app vault or something yeah ndio password ya vault so i go there hey nilikutana na vitu zingine sijaiona till date haya <laughs> na anamwambia tu ni ni pay like 10 days i need to go grocery shopping or something ile tu like unataka kuomba mtu pesa niko nayo but kwa nini wewe leo usinipe mm-hmm. kaniambia kesi na pesa but acha niende town nitawithdraw from uh, bank nikupe 
utakutumia. So hiyo nimetoka kukangalia mpesa yake iko na like 30 Gs. So ananinyima tu because anajua niko nayo. Mm-hmm. Hata asiponipea utajisolve. Mm-hmm. Okay. Haya a uh, nikaangalia angalia hapo ako na tudem tunini tunini so one day akaniambia let's it was a saturday afternoon i'm i'm bored twende tutoka chill na na my boys place flani we have a drink mm-hmm. nikamwambia mr yake kwenda kukaa na watu wenyewe si wajui na ni my boys mimi nataka kufanya nini so let's go but who taenda mimi nitakunywa kwa gari akaacha his phone ikicharge kwa gari si anajua it's locked mm-hmm. mimi at fingerprint there we go Ah nikafanya mambo yangu nikafanya mambo yangu akarudi kwa gari. Nikamwambia eh yenyewe umeshindwa kupigiwa hapa na fulani like mnalikuwa yeah. msafe. Akaniambia ah huyu hata ni mama mwingine huko ananisumbua sijui nini nini. Ni. <laughs> <laughs> Nikamwambia ah kusema kweli si mama lakini ni sawa. Kama hiyo ndio story you want us to go with we can go with that. Akamwambia what do you mean? Kwani wewe ndio unajua? Nikamwambia eh ninajua because I think for the past three months nimekuwa tu nikiingia kwa simu yako freely leo tu nimeamua kukwambia because the power of the drink but nimekuwa tu nikiingia ninaona gari mpesa yako hata niko na password yako ya vault eh acha kijana wenyewe asweat kombo sijali i'm not a dramatic person <laughs> i'm really not a dramatic person nikamwambia hiyo siku nili notice ningekuwa nimekwambia mm. lakini you do you hey. Yes. Hey. Can you please run mambo gani? Eh? Mtu atawezi kuwa na privacy. Nikamwambia privacy. Privacy kwa vault. Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> privacy kwa vault. Akanambia hiyo ni mbaya kabisa. Tabia mbaya nikamwambia cha nikwambie kitu. Huyo msichana mwenye amekuwa akikupigia, unampenda? Tuanzie hapo. Kama unampenda mimi, I, I don't think kuna mtu anaweza kusimama in between your happiness. Enda. Kanambia pana hata acha ni block saa hii. <laughs> Ai, ah, ah, unajua amekuwa akinisumbua tulipatana na yeye kwa k- part nyingine hapo. Sijui nini nini, ma story tu hakuna. Zangu wow. sasa Miss Jace here because kumbe hiyo ndio kawaida ya Kenya. Mm. Character development hizo <laughs> ndio story. Saki si kawaida. Ni kawaida. Tutete <laughs> <laughs> watu wangu nikiwa side girl hey. si kawaida. <laughs> I think siku hizi Ukiambiwa I, I live with my wife for the kids because of the kids unaona tu unajiambia really mm. ama wewe kuja tu nitakutumia yes. ama wewe ndo tu nitakutumia you know yeah. it's mm. we are all Kenyans mm. yeah. so um hiyo story ikaisha hapo nikamwambia mimi stuck in drama hiyo story tuishe hey. yes yeah. ukaachilia Eh I'm, I'm really not dramatic because kama ni drama ni drama mbaya ulikuwa in love kweli Eh. Hey. And then ukaona. Sasa songoje? Oh. <laughs> But there is more. <laughs> <laughs> Nikachilia your story saa hiyo. Yes. But we we later on went out. Yeah. Then that same same day I come and another phone. That same day. Akaniambia ni set hii phone <laughs> tena. Nika set na nika add fingerprint. Yeah. The same chick that was calling mchana akapiga tena. Sasa hizi ni mejam. Tumeka a place hivi hivi tu na kulikuwa by the na, na fireplace ni, ni na set simu nikaona anapiga amekaa next to me nikamwambia unapigiwa bado na ule mtu akaniambia ah sana nikapigisha hiyo simu yake mpya huko huko kwa kwa hiyo yes kwa, kwa the place kwa tumekaa nikaipigisha huko kwa, kwa fireplace now everyone else calls kuna watu wengine they like eh kwani what's up here akaniambia ni nini wewe nikamwambia ndio uko tu simu yako huko sasa drama ikaanza sasa mtanzani ukaingia mm. twende kazi basi na sasa sasa ninampea hizo matusi za huko kwetu <laughs> ah tukapigana by the way kabisa kabisa vita sasa physical kabisa mm. na ni mbele ya watu it was so ugly uh, so i i left nikawacha hapo I, i went home the next day a guy that was there um an older guy i think alikuwa na anajoana na my dad kitambo because nikwambia it's a small town mm. nikapatana na yeye kwa that total kulikuwa na a, a coffee shop hapo kwa hiyo total so me woke up nikaenda kwa coffee shop akaniambia lin jana what was happening nikamwambia eh akaniambia na huyo kijana si yule kijana wa kina fulani because now huko unajulikana from your home mm. nikamwambia eh na si nasikia huyo kijana anafanya biashara mbaya sana huko Nairobi Kambia pana ni watu tu wanasemaga. 
But ni, ni mzuri akanimbia mtu mwenye anakupiga si mtu mzuri. Wachana naye nikamwambia ah siwezi. Kwa nini niachane na yeye? <laughs> siwezi. So um at this time pesa bado si inatoka tu. Inatoka inatoka inatoka. So ikafika point sasa it's not that much enye mbaki. My my house uko imis mama kwa sababu ya ile like kesi. E so si jengi tena. Ivi sasa niko nayo tu acha tu ni tumie tumie ni ishi hapa I parent bills za kawaida my my normal lifestyle inaendelea. So one day akakuja tu kwa nyumba na akachukua vitu zake na akanipa mimi mlivi. Sasa niko tu wea. Na mabiashara zenye tumeanza kulikuwa na a, 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 a place inafunguliwa a new petrol station ya wa Somali nikiluka wa Somalia so akaniambia let's take one one of the shop we make it a nice barber shop by let's take it it's pay for it then me I'll buy the equipment which yeye kweli alikuwa anafanya so nikaenda nikalipa down payment ile sasa like unashika the shop kwa sababu kulikuwa na a candy shop i think a spare part shop and then now the filling station na sasa ama kinyozi there So I, I paid rent of about 200,000. Uh then tosa si tukachana kwa hiyo hiyo mix ya ya, ya, ya kulipa rent na kununua equipment aka akaniambia I, I can't go on with the projects anymore. Nikamwambia so ile pesa nilipa rent tutapotelea hivyo. Akaniambia you know what to do. Nikamwambia sawa hiyo ina shida kwa sababu najua mali hiyo pesa iko. Mm. Na hizi zingine zenye nimekuwa nikiandika. Akanambia mimi hako na pepe zako niko nayo. Umeni pepe zako? Hako na pesa yako mimi niko nayo. Nikamwambia what do you mean? What do you mean? Tayari ni nimepiga hesabu enye zenye nimeandika kwa kile kitabu the about 400k. Zenye sijaandika sandio mingi. Kambe mimi mimi sina pesa yako hata moja. Haya. Sasa I think I cried for like six months. Kipetero. <laughs> Kipetero. <laughs> Haya, nina text tu sasa. Mimi sina pesa kabisa. I need to pay rent. Anaenda anaisha watu. Simwambie umshana atafute kazi. Mimi tashinda nimemlipia rent. <laughs> Mimi umshana atafute kazi. Na sasa pesa ku naitisha. Yes. I'm like let's do this. At least nipatie kidogo kidogo. It's a lot of money. Hawezi kuwa naye at once lakini anaweza kuwa nayo. <laughs> Nikamwambia tu just pay me kidogo kidogo because I still need to survive. Mm. Akanimbia mimi akona akona pesa yako mimi niko nayo. This is uh, going towards end of 2018. Aya, mimi niko tu hapo na like what do I do? What do I do? Thank God nilikuwa na na pesa I, I think kone back na like 200,000 in the account. One of my, my friends alikuwa kona duka ya vyombo. Hizi vitu ma household items akaniambia lini nimefungua duka mali fulani you can come and see kama kuna kitu utapenda sasa hii story ya this game hata nimeshaachana nayo tumeshaachana na i am okay with that so going to that uh, yo duka ya, ya my friend nikaona a, a shop opposite has nikamwambia hii duka imechukuliwa akaniambia hapana akaniambia kuni you want to to do something kambia ya yeah. i have a uh, some knowledge with cosmetics and products and all that see i, I should do something with that knowledge kanimbia ya ya nikachukua duka i paid for it i pesa kidogo nikao ni baki nayo i pumped it there nikaanza sa biashara i was like ailin 200k i was kutosha stock na kulipa duka na kufanya nini so i went back to the land i sold another acre nikakuja nikajisota mambo yangu sasa ile pesa huyo alichukua nikasema sawa hiyo imeenda I can't report him kwa sababu hakuniibia mm. he always asked for it na mimi nilikuwa ninatoa unaona because i knew this money is coming back niko na receipts but i i can't go and say huyo mtu nilimpea pesa ya yeah, sasa aje kwa sababu if if in, ni mimi ndo ningekuwa na pesa yake you know like inakuwaga that the, the ladies ndo wanapewaga pesa kama angenishtaki pia kwa, kwa sababu pesa yake 1 2 3 amenipea pia 
but now here andika no no that's serious mimi nikasema nimewachana nayo na nimeachia Mungu acha mimi nifanye biashara so 2018 mwisho ni mwisho ni that was september mm. nikafungua my shop it was doing very well 2019 doing very well kabisa i even moved from that house now to a, a bigger one mm. a, be, a better one mm. i moved i found another guy at a rebound i think he'll go rebound mm. but he was much older ile tu sasa unakana na mtu he was way older and then these guys that spoil you ibaya sana Lynn, I, i don't like your hair today he is 100k go go do something hey. what are you wearing here is 50k go do something about it ali <laughs> 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 is your type at what yes lakini sasa obviously unaona tu hii relationship hakuna mali inaenda yes. he was way older mm. alafu pia unajiambia tu hata huyu akona family somewhere yes. although uh, in naroka i mm. think he, he came to work so he was just alone yeah. lakini hata with with the age ana pass time too eh i was like whatever I don't like your hair. Yes, alikuwa anasema hivyo. I don't like your hair. Ana anaenda hivi anakuja. Here's for your hair. Naambia eh? Eh. Mimi nachukua pesa. Who doesn't like my hair here? Mimi nachukua your pesa. I pump it in the business. Yes. Obviously I'll, I'll buy a, a wig. A nice wig is like 20 Gs. Yeah. Hizo siku zote. Then you save. Mm. 20 Gs. Ni nalipa my 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 rent my shop and ina baki naika kwa account ama hivyo mm. so at this time my 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 friend John and au wengine wako tu bado lakini sasa nikiwa na na ile relationship serious yenye nilikuwa nayo kina John yeah. of lazima uweke kando haya so we are back with kina John <laughs> mashamba sasa yes tunafanya fanya tu biashara here and there we get na jeez hizo sio kazi za kila siku mm. but my shop is doing very 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 well so in 2019 to 2019 bado ya yeah, i decided to to get a car mm. in june mm. that particular day before going now to to buy the car we went out with Kina John and other guys this guy came please to liqua your ex yes akatuvuruga hapo akatuvuruka kabisa Ak- he 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 shot at us he had a gun yes so <laughs> that's a very very weird situation to be in so place tulikuwa out the opposite side kulikuwa na akarumba place for us there was a CID who used to like drinking there yeah. so saka sikia gunshots akakuja so hiyo mimi hata nimeshaingia kwa club nimeenda home ni nini mbaya I, i think when you fire you have to go and report yourself akaenda akasema i i fired cause kulikuwa na, na watu wa pikipiki hapo wananivuruga kulikuwa hata na, na ex wangu amemvunja am, am, kioo ya ya gari yangu so i, I think hiyo ex sema hivyo akani ni kama amenishtaki that mm. nimevunja kioo ya gari mm. yake so the next morning nika meet up na, na John and my other friends we were to drive to Nairobi to to CGR we go by my car in Mombasa mm. So tumepatana vizuri asubuhi we like hey, jana kulikuwa na drama hey, see we go and buy drinks za, za barabara tukapitwa na ule CID mko wapi tuko place flani tunataka kutoka we are going to Nairobi we want to go to Mombasa ambia eh ile story ya jana ni kama ilikuwa mbaya hebu you, you guys come here to station muandike statement alafu mtaenda so kufika my ex is there I, I think aliji funga na, na story ya nilikuwa natoka club nikachokozwa mm. na watu so I fired so mm. na gun kwa club mm. which is not right. Oh. Then my ex akavunja kio ya mm, gari yangu. So mi kwanza nimeshtakiwa nimevunja kio ya gari. Tukaekwa tu hapo tunazungushwa kwa ka ofisi atujambiwa now you guys are under arrest. Tumeka tu kwa ka ofisi and take any statements kulienda aje kulienda aje. So it was a Saturday. Na Saturday ama Sunday asatadi mm. asande mm. kaini hapa uh, ni ni, ni tafuta mkubwa tuone vile tutamaliza story hiyo ni story tu the guy mm. left yeah, alienda na shughuli zake za sande so imefika 7 sisi tukutua hapo tukaambia tuka sasa na, na that cop wa when alikuwa ameingia masaa yake shift ya jioni kaambia eh hey, nyinyi ndo mabusu wangu leo like what 
Eh, amaizi ka coffee the whole night. Wewe sel, wewe sel. Tukalala sel. That day. Sasa ananiambia unaona it's your fault. Nikamwambia my fault. Wewe ndio ulitukuta kuanza kutuvuruga. Why? Atujui hata sisi. Tukalala ndani. The next morning tukaambiwa bail is is footages each. Akaniambia sasa so nilipie alafu nitakurudishia. Nikaambia John cuz ile pesa ya gari ilikuwa in cash kwa gari. Nikaambia John nikuja na 8k ulipe amesema atarudishia. Nikamlipia. Tukatoka that Sunday I went home I took a shower tukaendelea sina na shughuli ya kwenda Mombasa. Lakini tukiwa Mombasa he called me. Sasa ulipata gari hivyo yani ile two story ulipata mm. gari nikamwambia pana tutatafuta. Sasa usikuwe na haraka nini nini. Now he's being all nice. Mm. I think he's being all nice kwa zamona niko na pesa tena. Mm. Ile 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 pesa yako nitakuwekea leo. Na akaniekea I think aliniongezea like 20 years on top. Akaniekea nikamwambia yes sawa. Na ile ingine <laughs> kanembe ah we we maliza tu tutaongea oh, actually <laughs> what <laughs> what over half a million lin unaachilia no he Nairobi alafu with all the things that he said mimi nimekuwa nikisaidia huyo msichana sijui nini sijui nini no one knew that ni pesa yangu tumekuwa tukitumia kwa sababu sasa yeye ndo anajulikana na yeye unaona acha tu i think he was he was this kind of people that wanaongea sana like how jaulizwa i think inakwaga that ka thing in you unaona kama kila mtu anajua so yana yeah, nakusema he atalin nimemsaidia ni kujenga huko kwao lakini hiyo shamba iko na shida hivyo mm-hmm. atalin nimemchukulia hiyo nyumba nimemfanishia eh hata hiyo duka ni mimi nimemfungulia ni venye tu unajua kiachana na mtu au muachili sana lazima ushindange hapo una amwachilia sana una unamsaidia saidia hata kama uko mbali mm. unajua jutulishindanwa mm. wacha tu nimsaidie mm. so mimi na see the story i'm like this guy has my money what what are you guys talking about <laughs> anyways tumeka in 2020 here comes covid so what do we do we close we close down the car that, that i took i was paying for it every month I was given 10 months to, to pay for it. Mm. So I think I was I was overwhelmed with the money that is going out na inafai toke kwa iduka. And that's that guy when you tulikuwa nae wako kwa nipepe sa minge ta tumeshawa chana. Yeah. Uh, it, it was just bound to happen. Mm. It was just a, a short term thing. Mm. So I'm supposed to, to pay for my house, my car, my shop na ni survive. So it's a lot of money coming out than any inafaa yenye ingia. So in 2020 I, I closed down for a while. Closing down nikaanza madeni. So the the shop ina ina inaingiza deni, the car and the house. Nikipata pesa kidogo na, nalipa gari kwanza ndio isichukuliwe. Yeah. Hivyo <coughs> hivyo 2020 2020 ninakopa hapa nakopa pale ninalipa gari nalipa nyumba hivyo. Then uh in 2020 Mushoni mushoni to go November December I decided to take a microfinance loan. I think nimesha maliza kulipa gari. I have my logbook. Nikasema hii logbook ikitalala hapa kama certificate zangu za shule hazinisaidi. Let me get a loan from a microfinance kwa sababu sa COVID imesha kuja we've reopened. Yes. But now I don't have stock. I took a loan ni 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 yake kwa duka niendelee na kazi but at this time hakuna mtu ana ananua cosmetics that much tulikuwa tunanuaga tissue <laughs> sana in, during covid why though <laughs> it was food and <laughs> tissues i don't you know you remember why? that yes. thing tissue. tissue why Kai. so kuliko mtu anue makeup una buy tissues una <laughs> buy tissues I, i don't have clients pasi so sa lazima ni, nilipe microfinance nilipe nyumba na nilipe duka na niendelee kuishi. Ah, it was tough. So um bills to zina pile up. I decided to move from now my my house to a smaller house. But my friends are I will you or you see unika man as a hang out na sisi mm. because I think she's going broke. Mm. Eh, yeah. mm. sisi we, we can't hang out. Kwa kando. 
we can't hang out with broke people in that's a thing it's a thing nilia coins of bar sana aoke na john palini sio kipiga hivi ka jo sio nikicheka watu wataona ni kazi huko kwa john amekwenda hicho ai mbaya john wanyama eh na tumekuwa by the way very close i know the wife tunataka kwao na na other people i mm. think the, the ka click was like mm. kulikuwa na, na so many guys kwa our click yeah. lakini sasa ni kama family kwa sababu we, we know the, the wives the kids wakiwa na birthdays or whatever you events that we show up we go out drinking pamoja nani leo na nua mzinga mimi hai ile natauta nua mzinga leo yani ni hivyo yes so kwa sababu i'm going broke i can't afford the high end drinks that we used to take sineko kando kidogo plus my priorities have changed I can't go out and spend 20 Gs na ninadaiwa na microfinance mm. na ninadaiwa na na, na mm. rent ya duka mm. na ninadaiwa rent ya home mm. so in 2021 ah uh, ninadaiwa sana 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 niko na debts all over uh, I've moved to a, to a smaller house which I also can't afford and I am alone inabidi nilipe hizi deni zote nimelipa microfinance microfinance nikaona i can now afford to take another loan from the microfinance kwa sababu nime clear clear i'm no longer uko kwa danger zone mm. so i i get a top up in may i get a top up nimeka stock nini nimelipa lipa zile deni mbaya mbaya nafanya fanya kazi but i still can't get this money to mm. be paying every month so in june i closed down the shop i closed the shop down nika talk kila kitu nikauzia another lady that was selling cosmetics lakini hata kwa nilipa so eh, yeah covid bado tuko tu kila mtu ame ame amekapitia mm. so uh, yeah um i started staying at home in 2021 what happens on a day you are alone you are home you get depressed na mom mom is around Mom moved now from from da to here. Yes, to to Narok now. Yes. So ako tu lakini kuna some things when when you're used to being alone. Where's the sema? So I really never told anyone what I was going through. Because there was even no one to tell because now my my friends were no longer hanging out with me because I was broke. You see? I can't tell my my mom cuz I feel nikiekelea mtu mwingine hii stress niko nayo hata yeye atakuwa na stress zaidi na pia kuna kale kashim yes so what do i do i lock myself inside my home niko gana ka atastaki kuona huyo agent atakikuja kuni dai rent ina chungulia hivi it was not a flat easy easy houses to za za chini so like anaweza kuja ni mwoni ndio yeye ametembea ni chungulia kwa curtain ana knock ana anafanya hivi anaona it's locked uyuli na yuko lakini gari iko nje so anajua ako ama ama niliacha nimeenda simu yangu ilikuwa inashindaga dunga kwa sababu every morning i wake up lazima kuna deni lazima nilipe mahali and i have nothing i am at home deni ya microfinance ina pile up deni ya duka ina pile up na nimeifunga lakini bado nadaiwa zile rent zenye sikwa nimelipa mm up to the moment that i decided i'm closing mm-hmm. down hata nikifunga i never told the owner mm-hmm. kwa sababu ningemwambia angeti angechukua video yes. na angeti kia. yes so niliamka tu nikaenda nikapack vitu kwa, kwa boxes katoka nikapatia the lady where where uza utanipea pesa mm-hmm. nikatoka so yeye yeah, anajua lean bado kwa duka then um microfinance the the guy like munyasa alini ambia about the, the loans and what kwanza ni brother ya my ex yeah like lakini yeye aliniambia to there is a way you can get money and dakupatia the manager yes. will help you yeah. so th- this manager now alikuwa rafiki yangu ananiambia lin lin what's happening naona hii mwezi uje deposit naambia kini ko buy me i'm first of all i'm home akanibona jasa iki pile up they'll, they'll take the car at this time i don't even care ni garini ya nini i am depressed i just sleep i was not, i was not even showering you send you to it's bad it was that bad 
I used to to wake up naangalia simu na nakuta messages za I tried calling I tried calling kwa sababu sasa simu iko dunga unaona huyu anataka rent huyu ni microfinance huyu I can call him niaje Brian eh kanambia eh hey, uja deposit leo naambia mimi sina hata bob first of all lebe kwanza nitumie 1000 ya kukula leo anaona kama ni jokes because how it can't be lean ah hapana aya yeye ya, anachukulia kama joke na mbea anyways by next week nitakuwa nime nime deposit sandio akuache mm. yeah so life ikaendelea hivyo ikaendelea hivyo uh, i was kicked out of that house so i mean kana tunikambia mama eh mimi nimeshindwa kulipa rent na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi akaniambia so now so what do you do nikamwambia don't know but nitajua tu i think i'll know what to do nikalipa i got back to my home then one of my cousins from my dad's side akakuja kuishi na mimi ile tu sasa ndio ni sikuwe peke yangu i didn't know what depression was mimi kwa tunaona i'm sad i'm sad and why are you sad you're sad because you're broke which happens unata ile siku yenye una pesa kabisa una kuna hoga na kafeeling flani na attitude flani mm. so my cousin akuja kukaa na mimi alikuwa anasoma hapo Masai Mara University so i, I help her with school nini ni achangamka kidogo then kuna some stuff that i, I had not like peana kabisa za, za shop zilikuwa kwa boot i was like okay lean is it to people still buy them just do an an, on, an online thing uza the, the post the use you'll get money which i actually did mm. for for some time uh, up to i think november i was able now to afford food and rent but now the microfinance nilikuwa nalipa around 40k a month which was a lot it was a lot by then it's still a lot at mm. leo mm. but I, i decided to give up the car the guy told me lin now your car itachotwa what will you do utapata mtu utauzia ndio ulipe ubaki na tupesa i was like let me try but sikupata mtu So one day I actually lost my phone. So nikatoka home niende nika report ni maybe wa simu kwa police station ndio ni nitafute simu nyingine basi in town. Then I saw a red car following me. Ni kama wananisimamisha. Nikasimama. They were like sasa sisi tumetumwa na hivi na hivi na hivi we auctioneers and we need this car. Nikamwambia okay sawa. Do this go somewhere wait for me because i don't have a phone i have to go and report ndo nikuje nitoe vitu niko nazo kwa gari niwapatie and they waited ni kind of police station i reported i i came back i i i took those phones kuna some phones that you you pay a deposit and you're given so you need to say iso i i took that phone i went to my mom's house because ilikuwa ilikuwa karibu tu na highway kongo ilikuwa mbali like a, a distance from from the highway nikaenda nikatoa the, the boxes of, of the cosmetics that i had na ma vitu tu zinafaga kwa, kwa gari nikatoa nikaenda nika nikawapa gari i was like yes the car I was like clean umeshindwa kabisa kulipa you know we, we don't like doing this but um sasa tutafanya aje i was like it's okay i'm i'm good kabisa because i really can't afford to pay it if it it has to get here it's fine I have made peace with it. Yo, unasemaga tu but mm-hmm. sasa Dan. when you go back home and sit alone and you're like eh hey, hey, hey. I cried for for some time it was bound to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh that was no, November. So nikaenda tu mahali ai nilikuwa ni leo gari iko wapi? So I used to make excuses each and every single day. Ah uh, mama menda nayo Nairobi biashara biashara kidogo. Mm. Ah nilipatia fulani amekimbia nakuru. Ah nilipatia fulani uh, a cousin of mine ha has it cause yake ilipata accident anatumia tumia because I, I don't need it that much. Sasa ah, excuses zikazidi zikazidi zikazidi. January of 2022. I I'm still not working. Online I find kazi as we thought it's not like now. So I'm stuck with a lot of stock. I have no where to take it. I'm not telling anyone what I'm going through. Ninaona tu see we meet for for drinks CG wapi I show up looking my best. 
with heels, with what, with makeup, I look so good. Where is I'm going back to, to an empty fridge and ilizimwa because there's no food there. Where is I Pataga notice ya, please pay your rent, please pay your rent. Yeah, so Nikanza Tota Miku Zembea Lin, this is not the life. So in February, I told my mom, I think Narok has become too small for all of us. Mm. Let me sell everything that I have and move to Nairobi. Can you be able to do what? I don't know, but I think with the, with the knowledge that I have, I can even look for a job, maybe even at Linton's or somewhere, just somewhere. But let me go do something because Nikikap, I'm not doing anything. Let me just do something. Mm. Yeah, so I I did that in February and I moved here. And I Nikaka the whole of last year I was just inside an, an empty house. I started furnishing my house poly poly, but life was much better. Kuliko mm. please ni metoka. Mm. Yeah, then I started therapy. But I I started therapy this year. Mm. Pole Pole too, uh, after I saw uh, who, you hosted someone who was speaking a lot about therapy. Mm. Was it Lydia? Lydia Kim? Yes. yes. I was like, yeah, I think I, sh I should do this. Oh. The, there's, there's so much that you, you need to let go of that you yourself, you don't know. You've been through so much at a young age. Like from your childhood to, to things. Adulthood. Yes. So much. A failure, you, you, you feel like you failed. Don't feel like you, you, you may fail. See, you may fail, it's your business that I failed. Start another one. Do something, you know. Yeah, then here we are with my business flourishing and I'm looking good as ever. Hey, you look <laughs> <laughs> that hard to be yeah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> you're looking good yeah. than before, mm. as ever. Yeah. How is your heart? Uh, it's at peace. If I can give out this story without crying, you know, like, kila mtu I think anakuwaga na that ka, ka thing, ni kama kwa interview, anapeana story mm. by yourself, mm. kwa, kiyo, kwa kiyo, I used to cry, yes. ni, ni kijaribu kusema this whole, this whole story, you know, it, it was so hard, like, why, why did you do this to me, why, and why did you guys leave because I, I didn't have, kuna, kuna mambo mingi, mm. Your, your, your ex taking all these things from you, your friends leaving you because now you, you can't afford the, the lifestyle that you, that you had. Or what to ananza kuona kama weni ugonjwa? Ah ah, stay away from that one. Ah ah, we are yuko class yetu anymore. Ah ah. You know, you can't even tell your, your best friend. Sasa, ni idea 20,000, I've not paid my rent today. Uwezi. Kwa sababu, you'll be the talk of town. Fulani ataizi afford rent. Imagine. You know, a, a friend of, of mine said, Haya, gari yako ilichotwa? Na venye ulikuwa unatuendesha hapa ukijona mea? And I was like, that's a good one though. I'm a mea. Mm. Say that again. Sasa, <laughs> unasikia vibaya, but it was a funny joke. Kuna kitu vani hapo ni. Those are the people you stay away yeah, from. Yeah, but sasa you're like, I? Okay. So hivyo ndio ndio mnaenda kusema uko kando. Uko nje. Mm. Tia. Mm. Hey, we'll go on to the I'm a mayor. Kijuana and your mayor. Now I'm like, okay, sour. At least Yangu, Nimeka Nayo, 2019, 2020, 2021. Well, when I draw the difference here, but you're breaking a clutch. You've never even. Hujawai. <laughs> yani, unangalia, the people talking, talking, talking about bad you. about you have never done half of the things that you've done. Mm -hmm. People saying that your business failed. Have you ever like even thought, a thought of a business? You you live with your parents. You are in your mid thirties. What are you telling me? Yes, what are you telling me? My business failed, but I've not failed in life. Yes. Yes, that particular business failed. Mm. Yes. But you've not failed in no. life. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You you get up again, and mm. if the the other one fails, you do another one. Do you start again? Yes. And again. A and if that one fails and you're in your forties, you start again. Even in your fifties. Even in your fifties, even in your sixties. Start again. Yes. I love this. Mm. So, 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 Sometimes on your way to Sandu, <laughs> you, so, so, you start again. You start again. Land Ulibakisha. Yes. There's there's land. There is where the house is now. Mm. But now Ulona Ikonashida. Yeah, Ikona Kesi. Yes. Mm. 
but iko but at least your land mm. how cool mm. I, i couldn't even I, i really wanted to if if i, I got a chance kama isinge kuwa na kesi i would have finished the house kabisa mm. and someone would have been living there it would have been a home mm. i wanted to make it a home it will be yes someday it will hakuna kitu inanga solution it will be hakuna ulichua jum to ni wash wash nilisahau kuuliza hiyo part oh um first mm. from people mm. because kila mtu ana, anakujua unaona kila mtu anajua you are dating somebody that is actually his second name wash wash yes his first name then he unajua flani oh ule flani wash wash eh then also his company mm. around this nairobi mm. the names that you've had mm. so obvious then also him saying yeah 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 he's like ah babe you know what us we work smart you don't work hard you work smart then at some point kulikoga na that i think unakumbuka mm. how how people you used to print money like printing kabisa mm. so at some point ni letoga a box of those makaratasi mm. mm. weke ata ako ni letoya ni fichie he, he just came with them ile samimi si yuko akazieka kwa unaona kuna hoga na, na ka bedroom mm. where you put yes. extra duvets and mm. bed sheets aka akatoa one of the duvets akaeka box ilikuwa box ya biscuits just a small box mm. aka akaeka hiyo box hapo na akaficha na duvet eh aka akafunika mm. na, na duvet then one day my my mama wakufua came nikamwambia we need to wash the, the duvet that i'm using so tuweke ingine ile tu mnafanya general cleaning i think it was like a week later mimi na try duvet na una box ni kama yes e box liye kapali ni cause me i don't remember putting mm-hmm. it there ebu tu tuone iko na nini mimi niko na iko na makaratasi so akaniacha mimi nikifungua the lady didn't see akaenda mm-hmm. to, to the other room ku change now the duvet mm-hmm. mimi nikaangalia karatasi it looks like money but it's white but okay kwa hivi hivi kwa light iko na tu pesa yes nikamuuliza kuna box hapa hapa ni yako akaniambia eh hey, yes hapo then a friend of ours um friend of his in fact mm. nikasikia kwake kumenta kutafuta hizo vitu na wakapata so the next stop ni wapi kwako kwangu but they never came mm. lakini mimi nikachukizwa katasi hata the, the, the quickest place i thought of hiding them was in the oven kwa sababu hakuna mtu anafungua mm. oven mm. nikazieka hapo then two days later zilikuwa tu hapo kwa oven bado akai came kumbe alikuwa CID akakuja place nko na car there were only three houses one of the ladies alikuwa anafanya kwa university so she was never home na mwingine alikuwa anafanya kwa a coffee shop so ya naenda asubuhi na kuja usiku so nilikuwa peke yangu kwa compound so the guy came sasa hapa ndio kwa fulani ako ananijua physically mm. nikamwambia yeye ni hapa karibu akaingia akaniambia lin uh, i'm looking for it where is he nikamwambia don't know the last time ulimwona ni lini kambia weekend ilikuwa katika mm. week Tuesday Wednesday mm. kambia weekend kwa nani weekend alikuwa hapa nikwambia pana we met mali flani eh hey. na leo kwa wapi mpigie simu so i called him simu yake ilikuwa mtete nikwambia akomteja is there a problem akaniambia lean you're dealing with a very dangerous person nikwambia why akaniambia ah hiyo ni kazi yetu lakini just take care of yourself na kaenda So later on Jamal when I found him there was a funny looking guy here looking for you and um and I can remember I'm dealing with a dangerous person what does he mean I can remember na jua biz nini 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 sasa so, alikuwa ashaniambia mm. nikamwambia eh hey, okay but uone kama itakuletea shida even with your family and mm. kids kaambia oh, wewe usijali tutamsort tutamsort tu because now apparently you, mm. you can sort they worked the yeah. kuna ka Mm. Are you happy you are out of that life? Oh yes. Ah kitambo nilitoka kwa kitambo. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Eh, hey, scary. It's scary. It's scary mm. because some of the, of the guys they used to work with are no longer there. Yeah, they were hunted down and shot. Naambia mm. naambia to flani was shot in the head. Mm. Yeah. Alafu pia when you're seen with that click Our you jogi, become you, yeah you them. become one of them mm. i kwagi ati ah huyu ako tunaona ajui mm. kuna kitu kama hiyo mm. 
do you think you are introduced to the inheritance when you are a bit young? Yes. 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 Mm. Also, I, I had zero knowledge of Property. that, of properties, even of money, you know. In 2015, I was 20. Yeah. I, I didn't know much about money or all that. But I think I matured Mapema. Mm. <coughs> I have handled money before 2015. But I didn't know how to handle the land mm. and the, all that inheritance mm. and all mm. that. Also because my mom was far <coughs> at that time. But I think whatever happened, happened. I, I really have no regrets. Mm. If, if I was to go back in time, I would have done things differently. But whatever happened, happened. And since we came into this world with nothing. Yes, and we will live. And we will live with nothing. I just love your attitude. Yeah. But so, yeah, but I also have time also to look for my own. I think property size is equal. Mm. Not to know what. Mm. Mm. Nice business. <coughs> business is, it's, it's okay. It's yeah. still online, but mm. it's okay. Uh, Narok people can really support you. I think 80% of my clients are from Narok. Wow. Then our uh, Nguine, Wauku, hey. Nairobi, na Mbali Mbali. Mm. Yeah. What's the name of your business? We plug it. Yes, my my Instagram shop mm. is Lins Cosmetics yes. and Fragrances KE. Mm -hmm. It's a new account because yeah. the other one, one of the girls that was working for me stole it. Kai. Yeah, it was Lins Cosmetics. Mm. So I decided to do Lins Cosmetics and mm. Fragrances mm. KE. Mm. Yeah. You have a passion for beauty. Yes. Even your skin is so flawless. Thank you. I know. <laughs> Even your skin is so flawless. I'm trying. You are trying. Mm. But what's the greatest lesson you've learned in all this? Um, I've learned that uh, not everything that you see is what it is. Mm -hmm. And things can always turn. Mm -hmm. Tables can always turn. Mm -hmm. Usi wife that I am this person locked in for life. People can change. That mm. that I've learned mm. now with my friends living and all that. Yeah. And I also believe that your heart will heal. <laughs> it will always heal and mm. you'll always come back from what yeah. you're in. Mm. Yeah. Have you made new friends? <coughs> yes, uh, I have a few friends mm. here in Nairobi. What's the difference? How are you choosing your friends now? Mm. You know, now, mm. I think the people that I'm meeting are genuine. Because back then it was like, Lynn has this. So let's hang out with her. Lynn will do this for us. So let's hang out with, with her. I, I used to, to, to just think everyone is your friend. Because how to hang out? Kama leo, none have made friends. Hapa, kinaed gani marafiki zangu sasa. Kamsa. So like, I, I used to think, because how to hang out with your friends. friends. Yeah. Lakini now, I think I am more intentional with the people that I hang out mm. with. And what, what are they bringing into my life? You see, yeah. yeah, your intention. Mm, I intention, love that. Yeah. Any young, you are not even thirty. I'm not yet. You are not even thirty yet. I'll be thirty in less than five hundred days. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Look, I, I see what you did there in 2025. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In one and a half years, mm -hmm. you mean? Okay, mm. happy birthday, my famous. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, but mm. any young girl that's watching you, mm -hmm. and you know, what got to crazy mix. Mm -hmm. What would you want to tell them? Um, they should take their time. Mm. They should take their time. Um, whatever you want to be, by the way, you'll be. Whatever you put your, like your heart mm. and your head into, you'll be. Don't take a shortcut. And just, I don't know what to say. Just be you. Mm. Don't take shortcuts. Just, just mm. live by My the way. Pole pole My shapo pole pole, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Any part of you that feels guilty of knowing he had a family? No. Why? No. Because, um, I don't know. I, I always say that everyone that you meet, Lynn, even us meeting here today, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. I <laughs> love that part. Yes, yeah. it's for a reason. Mm. And our paths crossed mm. with the guy. But the wife is a very good friend of mine and she, she became my client back then. No way. Yes. And we, we talk all matters here. I, I used to have 
sister locks yes. and she we, we talked about it your locks I, I want to do something like that I, I, I plugged her mm. she got and my hair is so dry what do I do so we, we talk up on a pale she's a very nice lady yeah. and I and I hope that the guy changed because she deserves better mm. when you two ways I'm to Bonaco in buyer Mm. Mm. I think some part of her knows, yeah. even now this will be out there for mm. the world to see, mm. but some part of her knew. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and back then, nilikuwa nikikuja Nairobi, hivi na hivi na mnunulia kapa film, na ambia jama, endo jifanya ni ome nunua. Lino. Aki. Yeah. Hey. Hii <coughs> <coughs> Nairobi. <coughs> Ayo na rock. Iyo na. Ni mshopia. Mm. Eh. Yeah. Hauko anataka kuharibu kabisa. Ah, ah, unajua when they happy we are happy here. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Acha hizo. Even if ando ilikuwa not now. Ah, not now. No, yes. no, no. Mm. Ah, ah. Now, ah, ah. No. Now, no. now I know better. I have learned and more. And you know better. I, I, I have learned the Nairobi ways, yes. the character development ways. Yeah. yeah. And I think there is always someone out there for you. So, so, so let me find them for you. Because relationship can be new. Mm. Exactly. Me, I wish you all the best. Thank you. I say no one is a saint. Yes. Everyone has a past. Yes. But it's what we decide to do with the lessons yes. from our yes. past yeah. that matters. Mm. Now, what do you tell yourself about yourself? I tell myself that I am glad everything happened back then. Now, because now I am going into a, a different phase of my life. Nikifika 30, sita kwa na ma character development anymore. I can tell it from a distance. And I, I, I learn now genuine people. And I know what to do with my life. Mm. And I've learned to put myself first. Mm. Because I would always, even with all the money and everything, I would always say no to myself first. Don't yes to everyone. Yes, else. yes. I was always the yes person, but I've learned to say no. Mm. Also, with 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 therapy, it, it helps you with a lot. Yeah. It 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 helps you balance your emotions because I was always so emotional. Now na kama kila mtu ananikosea, all the time. I want things to go my way. Yes. And you you go uh, better with relationships. Everything just moves smoothly because you're, you're letting go of what happened to you in the past, mm. what happened to you as a child, what yes. happened to you as a teenager, yeah. uh, as a young adult. Now because I'm heading to being now a proper adult. I am a proper adult, but you, you know. Are, yeah. You are already. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All the best. Thank Lynn. you. You are not your past. I'm not my past. You are not the things that happened to no. you. You are not the things that you did. You mm. are very so pretty, yeah. actually. You, you can't even tell, right? Nah, I can't tell. <laughs> Kai, yaki, thank thank God we don't look like what we've been I through. know, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, just mm -hmm. take good care of yourself. Yeah. You have it in you. Yes. You'll just look beauty. Thank you. Una just simple boy in the any beauty. Yeah. <laughs> You look, yeah. you know, you you look like the things you are doing right mm -hmm. now. The mm -hmm. makeup, yeah. the cosmetology, mm, yeah, you cosmetology. Know, all, all these things. Like you look like those things. So yeah. just go, go go out there and mm -hmm. trust yeah. the work of your own hands. Yes, like yes. the work of your own hands. Mm -hmm. Take good care of your finances. Mm, yeah. You know, you're mm -hmm. still so very young. Yes. Kai, you're 28. I don't know where I was, but I see at the meaning. Say, don't quote me, but <laughs> uh -huh. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's it's like an age where mm. there there's an age in your 20s that's a bit confusing. Yes. Yes. And I think more people should talk about it. Yes. There's an age where you don't know what to do. You're just doing everything, 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 yeah. everything. Yeah. everything yeah. You mm. know. Yeah. And by the time you get that aha moment, yeah. sometimes it can be too late for other people. Yeah. You know. Mm. So I hope anyone that is listening to you and they're in their twenties, mm. they get to learn a thing yes. or two yes. from you. Yeah. And I really hope your work. You get. Did you ever get a car? 
another one? Mm. No. I hope you get Not another yet. one. Yes, soon. Yeah. You are deserving of all the good things. Na kuna kitu tamu kama ukizipata in a straight way yes, exactly. and in a straight manner. Yes. Na ukikuwa kama millionaire pahali mm. kuja ni kuzia apartment. Abbas, unakujia. Sana. Uh, very <laughs> soon. Very soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was just me trying to plug mm. our partners yes. but I'll do that later yeah. but in before we wind up mm -hmm. your parting shot to our audience um. and also remind them mm. where they can find you okay. and anything else you feel we've not touched mm -hmm. feel free I think we've touched everything beautiful are yeah. you happy I'm very happy okay. I'm very happy yeah. I just want people to know that they are where they are in life yes. they are not late they are not ahead mm. people might look at you and say that 28 25 26 year old girl has a a, a, a business mm. a car this but not everything is looks the way it, it yeah, seems yeah you're, you're you've not failed i have a tattoo here that, that says nah, never a failure always mm. a lesson wow. yes you, we, we don't fail in life we learn we learn, we learn. Mm. everything that ha has happened to me i have learned from them mm. I, i have no regrets I I am glad that everything happened the way it happened Good. because now I know better. Yes. So I think yeah you you you're where you're supposed to be. Mm. Yeah, just take care of yourself. Yeah. Self care, you know. Any day. Yeah, any day. Mm. Self awareness and therapy. Day. And ther therapy is important. Yes. Yeah. And it it works. Yes. Cindy, mm -hmm. shall we wind up? Yeah. I'll put your socials one sure. more time yes. on the screen. Yes. And again, as I said, may God bless the work of your you. hands. Mm -hmm. And to you guys at home, mm -hmm. I always ask you on the comment section, what's your take home in the words of the late Maya Angelou? When you know better, you do better. And I always say, no one is a saint in this show. Even, even me myself, I keep saying, no one is a saint. So... I hope you guys your take home you can also share it on the comment section and I hope we really learned a lot from today's conversation and also please go support her with her business she did not ask me to do it but you know guys one good deed deserves another we are learning from her story we've learned from her mistakes go and support her if you can and of course i want to say thank you so much to our beautiful people at kings developers limited lino kikosa kuja kununua nyumba mimi niko se kibarua ya kuadvertise yanga kings my 30th birthday your 30th birthday that's where we are aiming at my people you are where you're supposed to be in life don't yes. be in a rush mm -hmm. so even if you're 50 and you're looking into <laughs> owning a home why don't you try my people at kings developers limited they have beautiful beautiful apartments for you and their prices range so there is no pressure looking for something yeah 4m all the way to 9m all the way to even over 10m you can always trust them with their buildings and also to say thank you so much to my incredible team that puts this work together edgar metajo hapa lakini ulikuwa ume step out Lynn said she made a friend <laughs> Edgar Santi sana you met before no eh? <laughs> are you sure lazima <laughs> comfortable yeah so Edgar Muga and Scholar thank you so much and of course to our incredible editors we have an addition to the team i hope she feels at home Mary Kev and Sam, thank you so much for compiling this episode and making sure that you guys, it reaches you guys right on time. Please, please, please get us to 800k subscribers. That's the most beautiful gift you can give me this year. Share our work with your people as well so that we can continue impacting our society one story at a time. I have been your beautiful host, Lingugi. Tuonane kesho, 10am. Bye-bye.